Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Very sorry about that last catastrophic run. We might be due for another random run, but Eden is like the true random, right? Curse of the Blind. L7V, FE, VTXV, Boomerang, and what I'm guessing is Sworn Protector because I don't see any orbital currently orbiting us. Followed by Anarchist Cookbook immediately. I'm not a huge fan of this. I'm a huge fan of that. Uh, well, you know what? At the very least, this will give me a chance to finally use the boomerang and determine whether or not I agree with people about the boomerang. I've previously said that I haven't. People think, hey, the boomerang's good because it does twice as much damage as your normal tiers, but it doesn't double your tier damage. There's a notable distinction there. It also, like, watch the way I fire here. One Mississippi, two Mississippi. Uh, let's let's tap it out. Actually, it's like tack, 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 tack. Whereas if I fire the boomerang, you're ready. Tack, 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 boomerang. Tack. See, it takes like an extra second there. I feel like the boomerang is good if there's like one enemy left on a room, and we might try to use it in that uh, in that manner. But it kind of lowers your DPS. I feel. That being said, there might be situations where the boomerang is actually awesome. Like, if you just had such stupid damage that you could almost one-shot everything, and then you had the boomerang on top of it so that you could, you know, maybe double your already crazy tier damage, I could see that working out. But as for right now, I'm not too thrilled uh, with this with this kind of loadout that we have, but that's okay. We'll try to make it work regardless. Also, of course, we can't deny that even though it might lower our DPS slightly or just keep it equivalent, which would... I guess neutral is kind of bad in this situation because I, you know, it's taken up a spacebar slot. However, um, I can't deny that it does also freeze enemies, and it can also allow us to get consumables that we would otherwise be in, unable to get. So I guess I can actually go back and pick up that money, unless I'm mistaken. Does it go over rocks or does it just go over gaps? I thought it went over. It doesn't get chests, but it'll definitely allow me to get the money if I want it. If if it goes over um, rocks, that is. And the, admittedly, the freezing effect is not that long. Anyway, I'm going to stop worrying about the streak. This is, you know, how I learned to stop worrying and love the streak. Totally will go over the rock. All right. Um, if I could just, like, buy a bomb, that might be nice. Like, I know we could go get the money, but... I'd almost rather just buy a bomb right now and then just blow this up. I don't think it'll find a secret room, but it's possible. Hey, lucky us. And then inside of our secret room, we get an eternal heart. Well, everything's coming out Millhouse here. This is actually working out pretty nicely. Am I really going to sit here and, you know, farm up this money? Absolutely, I am. Uh, I'm going to stop worrying about the streak a little bit because I think it's not like streak mark one where I stopped worrying about absurd play and just started worrying about winning. But I think I'm getting inside of my own head, you know? If it's all you think about, you're not going to make it happen. You got to be a little bit more relaxed. You got to be a little bit more easygoing. I what made it, you know, possible for me to perform better than I would have expected that I was able to do was I think that I was just relaxed in every rebirth run. I had deep down, you know, unconscious belief that I was just going to win every run. Yeah, it is a uh, sworn protector. And it worked, man. Like that that confidence, uh, I think that just manifests itself in kind of like better play, clandestinely. Ooh, don't like that too much. I'm very happy that we did farm up that money though, because it allowed us to get, um, even though it took a long time, it allowed us to get that uh, arcade there, which will allow us to access this boss trap room, which might be very meaningful in and of itself. I'm still very skeptical that the boomerang ends up being good for us, but I'm almost, I'm entranced by this idea that if we just had crazy, amazing damage, then the boomerang would be incredible. Like if we had Eve's Mascara or something like that. Uh, can't really justify that right now. Can't really justify that right now. Let's move along. We'll see if it works. I'm open to it. I've, uh, you know, I've, I've talked a lot about, uh, well, I've given items that I don't like chances in the past. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting out of there. Um, and that was even worse. But, uh, I've uh, used Epic Fetus, or sorry, Dr. Fetus on a lot of runs, even though I think that it's not particularly good. I want to give it a chance. Soy Milk, I have had the occasional run where Soy, mil soy Milk has helped me out a great deal. 
maybe the boomerang is next on the list. I don't think soy milk is particularly good, but there are some situations in which it's, it's, there's some situations in which it's not a catastrophic loss, and there's some situations in which it's actually just awesome. Um, rarely, but it does happen. So I figure we'll use our boomerang to take the uh, difficult hearts. And then we'll go back and get the easy heart after we play this. Mostly concerned about money right now, not gonna lie to you. I would rather take the money than um, get the HP, because I think we're gonna give up HP soon anyway. We got a decent number of spirit arts. I'd rather just pick up like a, a steam sale or something early that gives me a chance to, you know, gain some momentum and do better long term. I'm starting to understand the value <clears throat> of the um, of the boomerang, if not within a damage context, then I think it's nice to have maybe against bosses to freeze them, although they will become immune to the fire, or not the fire, the freeze, pretty soon. Uh, no bombs, at least not until we go to our shop. And for example, being able to kind of control uh, an enemy like uh, that Mullaboom right there might have saved me some serious heartache, even though I just took damage against the spider like immediately after. Similarly, I'm happy to have uh, Sworn Protector here to help out. Boomerang range is pretty bad. What do you think? What do you think? Really was hoping for a uh, crawl space there. It happens. Okay. It worked. <laughs> Barely, but it worked. Oh man, we got it wedged in there. Um, the small rock, good pickup. Helps the boomerang, we can't deny that. And don't walk right into that guy if you know what's good for you. I don't know. We'll find out. I'm looking forward to entering a new phase of my uh, Isaac quote-unquote career, whatever you want to call it. Here we're going to be a little bit more um, just focused on, on having a good run, having an entertaining run, having a good time. What do you think? Go shop first? I know we have extra... I know we have extra hearts that we could trade for the money necessary, but I think I gotta go item room, and I'm happy I did. It'll allow us to gamble more on the shop, but we are gonna need a key. Does Odd Mushroom slow you down? Or am I just noticing, for now, the full effects of that speed downgrade from earlier because we're on a big room? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Come on, give me a key. Give me a key, sweetheart. Ah, I don't know what that accent is, but... I apologize if there are any living people that still sound like that. Freezing the nub? I mean, it could be worse. There we go. It's actually nice to have the ability to freeze an enemy uh, on a room like this where you've got these really mobile assholes. Thank you. Who are just like total shitheads. Please, can you die? Like, one of you, can you die so that I can actually make progress on this room? Thank you. Totally missed with that, but you, we boxed off a little area so he couldn't get to it. Alright, that was the true money maker there. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm tempted to fight the boss first, let's just put it that way. That way we can figure out what our HP is gonna be like, and then we can gamble if, if we want to. We got very lucky there. We can figure out what our item is gonna be. It's gonna be pin on the fight here. I wouldn't mind snagging uh, anything. <laughs> we we could use HP. We could use extra, uh, you know, tears. We could use extra damage. We have had a tears downgrade, mind you. We had a tears upgrade earlier, but tears downgrade it, it sucks real bad, man. Why does it seem like I do no damage when they're frozen? That's gotta just be like a like the damage doesn't show up until they unfreeze, right? It's not just that it causes it to literally take zero damage when frozen, because that would really suck. Safety cap, uh, or blue cap, sorry. It's good. Good enough, at least. The HP upgrade is nice, and it actually fills itself up, which is okay. And Ghost Baby is, uh, is not a very good item. Man, our speed, though. Oh, you know what? It is Small Rock is a, a speed downgrade. A very minor speed downgrade, but a speed downgrade that really matters in this situation. We'll go to our shop. And inside of our shop, we'll be able to get a blue map. Yo, listen up. Here's a story. It's about a guy. He lives in a blue map. And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue. Uh, like him, inside and outside. I guess he's got some kind of like x-ray vision or something. This is the slowest I've been in a long time. And I don't think the blood bag even comes with a speed upgrade anymore. So, I'm, uh, skept Ooh, I'm skeptical that this ends up being good for us. I don't really want to use IV bag. I'm just happy to get the payout. Let's uh 
Let's gamble a little bit. I would like to get a good trinket like a goat hoof. Or any card or spirit art is fine by me. We got a fool card. Yeah, this will be great because I think we got a really good chance of making it to our boss rush room. Like, we're, uh, we're pretty speedy right now. This is not shaping up fantastically. As much as I would love to blame the game here, I think that there's a, you know, there's a case to be made for bad luck with the speed downgrade pill, and then maybe this is one of those unique situations in which I should not have taken small rock. But maybe not. We'll find out sooner or later as this run kind of comes to fruition. I would expect to take a lot of damage on the next floor. I would expect the next floor to be very dangerous because of our shitty speed. I wish that it were not the case, but I, I think it's, uh, it's going to be something we're going to have to concern ourselves with because we have no ability to dodge. If an enemy gets close to us, there's a pretty darn good chance we're going to get hit. So we really need to, to pick up speed upgrades as soon as is possible. And I mean that sincerely. Like, we need, we need a way out. See, like that even. There was no way for me to... I mean, the only way was prevention. No thank you. Um, if, if we could have put ourselves, uh, further away to start with, like, now we've got to worry a lot more about positioning, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh, jeez. Like, we, we can't afford to do what I normally do, which is, you know, go toe-to-toe -to -toe with enemies, and we kill them faster, we dodge out of the way whenever they shoot. we got to be, um, much smarter. And maybe the boomerang's good for that. If enemies start chasing us down, we can just, you know, freeze them up at least once. Might give us a chance to, to come out of it a little bit better. I don't know, though. We'll see. Extra HP, I appreciate. Right? We have no keys. I think this is one of those situations where it's it's becoming pretty clear how this run fails. Panic, uh, panic boomerang there. Like, I think it's very simple to, to see how this run goes terribly wrong. We made it, barely. Uh, we do have one bomb. Let's access our secret room. Golden poop. I'll take whatever they want. Yeah, if they wanted to give me counterfeit penny, that could have been fine as well. But I'm, I'm content with this. We have not taken red heart damage yet. I'm not optimistic that it's going to stay like that. As much as I would love it to, I don't think it probably will. And in a way, I kind of feel like this is a great run for me to get my confidence back underneath me. I was like, yo, we gotta have like a super, you know, potent, high damage, you know, fuck me run so that I can get my sea legs back underneath me. But actually, maybe the true way, uh, the best way to regain some confidence here, some, oh no, <laughs> maybe not. So, but some real core confidence would be like, uh, you know, win a run that you're not supposed to win. You know, give you that superhuman kind of vibe to yourself again. Maybe, maybe not. I was going to say we'll find out, but there's a, there's a realistic chance we won't. What am I supposed to do, right? Like, I'm, I'm throwing out everything I got here. Boss room had to be close. At this point, I'm more excited for the boss room than I am for any of the other rooms. Item, room, or shop included. Because I really need either a fuck ton of HP or just give me a speed upgrade, man. Okay, that actually worked, thankfully. Like, a speed upgrade is... I don't want to say essential, that might oversell it a little bit, but it's one of the easiest things for us to take care of and then still be, like, fine about. There we go. So we lived, which was not always guaranteed, and Cat of Nine Tails is a really nice pickup, but for once, I really find myself saying I wish that it was a speed upgrade, and I almost feel slower after picking it up. I don't think that's the case, but I do almost feel like I'm a little slower than I used to be. This is a weird one. Um, I think I've got to go with Red Heart to start. Whoa. Yeah. Red Heart to start. I hope it never stops. Whoa. Yeah. Ghost baby. Well, we got another freezing ability. In a way, this is almost... I, I'm not going to say it's bad, but it might be slightly suboptimal in that... Uh, we're, uh, well, we'll shoot this because we want to get champion belt as well. I mean, if we if we can't have speed, we got to be killing things quickly. But, uh, I think that the freezing effect from Boomerang and the freezing effect from Mom's Contact are the same. Oh my god, Boomerang worked there. I was going to say I'll never shit talk this item again, but I'll tell you what. You just buy yourself a floor of immunity. Let's be more realistic about it. Um... 
the problem with them, you know, what's the problem with having two freezes? Well, it'll make... If we freeze something with Mom's Contact, it should make it immune or at least resistant to, uh... The next opportunity to freeze it. What do you think? You think you guys... You'd want to go to the curse room in this situation? It's... We could do it for a half heart, so I'm gonna do it. Alright, I'll tell you what. Look. Yes, thank you. Thank you for not being spiders. Thank you for all of your help there. I really appreciate that one. It could have been a lot worse. And of course, you know, we still... Even though we've got these concerns, we're uh, still gonna try for a deal with the devil on the next floor. So, you know, getting, uh, getting that spirit art is meaningful. I would almost rather just have, like, uh, speedball than even a deal with the devil. But it is what it is. We gotta deal with what the game gives us right now. Don't really want that. Seriously, you're gonna make it impossible for me to get one more cent to get Champion's Belt? Shooting about the Red Heart, I guess. That's what you get, fuckboy. Alright. Moving on, then. <laughs> 14 minutes, we're done the third floor. Largely, like, our damage is fine. It's just a result of the fact that it physically takes us a long time to move from floor to floor. I do like being able to freeze, you know, more enemies than would be plausible with the than with the boomerang exclusively, so there is that. And there is something to be said that as our damage improves, we're gonna be doing you know, the, the boomerang is gonna be doing a not insignificant amount of damage. If it can work almost like a here's what I would equate it to almost. It could be like a one room charge, or like even less than a one room charge, obviously. Shoop the whoop. Where basically with shoop the whoop, if I have no other options, I'm like shoop the whoop's okay. Because it gives us um, one enemy kill per room, and that's something that you know that long term can make a, a more than slight difference in your run. Um, but I'm not I'm not sold yet. I mean, there's, it's clear that there's like I don't need to lie to you. There's stuff that would be better than the boomerang here, but. In a way, I almost like the idea of having a run where we're actually going to try to make this this item that maybe I've never really given a proper chance, at least out of the first couple of videos, uh, a better shot. Oh, you know what? I should have freaking used uh, the boomerang to get those pills. That was stupid of me. That's that's a byproduct of me not using the item uh, A, properly, but B, you know, as much as I should have in the past, probably, or as much as I could have in the past. Bad damage, and there goes our spirit heart. Our actual... Like, our DPS is not that amazing, but our damage per tier is pretty solid. Come on. I got the blue map, but I got no bombs. Mm, give me some bombs, give me some bombs, give me some... No, okay. Every single one of these rooms scares the shit out of me, because if, like, last floor sacrificing or losing our deal with the devil chance didn't mean that much to me. Because it was unlikely to happen anyway, because we just had a deal with the devil. This floor is much more dangerous. Mom's contact came through in the clutch. Oh my god, that was close. No greed. Yeah, we need to take the spirit heart. Need to guarantee ourselves the best chance possible here. I think, at least. Okay, work it, work it. Missy Elliot, dark one, no thank you. Probably, eh, I don't know if it's necessarily the hardest boss. Didn't get frozen. I don't know if it's the hardest boss we could be fighting right now, but it's it's not an easy boss for this stage in the game. And there we go. Now we're uh, now we're on notice here. Almost botched that miserably. You know, it's, it's one of those situations where having like a single bomb would be nice, just so we could guarantee it. But hey, we made it work. Latchkey will also give us a spirit heart, more keys, which is a little overkill at this point. And the mark. It's it's helpful. It's a start. I'm not sure if it actually does give us a speed upgrade, but... The more DPS we get, the better, man! At this point, I'm... You reach a point where, like, when you don't get what you want initially, you complain. When you don't get what you want long-term, I sort of stop complaining as much. At least for, for a little while. And uh, find myself just being thankful for what I got, you know? Let's leave this room and then come back when it's easier to grab the consumables. Although with our incredible speed, and it really is incredible in one way or the other, um, it's still difficult to get through this in time, but whatever. Alright. 
This is good. I I'm starting to see this run come together a little bit, but we got a long way to go before this becomes, uh... I don't want to even want to say, like, competent. <laughs> it it's far from stellar, but, you know, we're, we're making progress. More money, maybe, get into our shot. Uh, could be a counterfeit penny. Yeah, that's... It's not insignificant. Don't really want to use our Two of Hearts card to just, uh... You know, play the Blood Bank more. I don't think that's as meaningful as it could be if it just keeps us alive. Well... I wanted bombs, but not like that. Just trying to ensure that I didn't die in the process there. Okay, uh, Ball of Tar. As far as I'm concerned, anything that limits enemy mobility is going to be very nice for us. Uh, yeah, we'll go back for that, obviously. Anything that makes it so enemies are slower. Anything that makes it so enemies, uh, you know, literally get frozen. Works for me, man. So we're going to play our Blood Bank a little bit more. We are probably going to go to our Curse Room as well. But we can guarantee that we leave with full HP if we want to. What we do is we play this like twice. Then I'll take us over this threshold. Then we go to our Curse Room. And there's not much we can do on our Curse Room. Uh, except... Like we, like we can't teleport out is what I'm trying to get at. We got one more room to do here. I don't know how that'll go, but we'll see. Is this worth the Spirit Heart? Hmm, absolutely not. This is why I'm not playing the Blood Bank more. And we actually do have more than one room, actually. I'm not playing the Blood Bank more because it scares the crap out of me to go super low. Normally, if I was a little bit more comfortable in our ability to dodge, I would. But uh, this with the Boomerang is... I, at first, I was excited, and now I realize it's meaningless. Because we can't really pull a, an HP upgrade item to us over here. But if he drops like a... Yeah, this is actually great. Okay. We can't get the, uh, the chest, but we can at least get the Red Heart. That worked out pretty well. The extra spirit art, very nice. I hope we get a deal with the devil on the next floor, because this is uh this is a tough one. Still so few bombs. Like that's a real piss off, man. I would love to be looking. Oh yeah, real dumb. I would love to be looking for uh magic mushroom right now. We just don't have the ability to. Eleven cents. Alright, alright. We'll just head down. I, I don't want to sound resigned, but I'm in a bad spot. We could invest heavily, like we're going to we're going to Depths One. I could invest heavily by the Steam sale, but it's probably when you think that you're only going to have one shop remaining. I think it stops making sense to to have the Steam sale um, or to get the Steam sale because it's going to. Oh, okay, this is great. It's going to take us a while, but if we backtrack, you know, we can make this work. Um, we make make it work efficiently, is what I mean to say. Yeah, you didn't get frozen there? That's a little surprising to me. Oh, we could possibly re-roll our whole run, and I wouldn't mind the opportunity, to be honest with you. The key, like, payouts here are just getting a little ridiculous. Good freeze. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. -a. There we go. You know, I wouldn't actually mind just, like, tripling down on creep right now. If you want to give me, like, uh... Headless baby, I'd take it. Oh my god, scared the crap out of me there. I'm not really in a position to not take any damage upgrades, to be frank with you, though. That's the best we can really do. Hello? What, smell? what it smells weird? It smells like alcohol. It smells like alcohol? Like, you know, pure alcohol that when you get, like, a scratch on your skin, you put that... Yeah, like, uh... Like rubbing alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you caught me. Just before this Isaac run, I drank a whole bottle of rubbing alcohol. Ruka, don't tell on me. You said it was our secret. That would explain why I'm having such a bad run here. Our boiler's making a weird noise as well. Well, every like 15 minutes it goes like... And I'm concerned that our apartment is going to blow up. But if it does, at least I'll die doing what I loved. Having a literally zero speed run. Get out of my room, girl! I'm working right now. Yeah, I'm smelling. Get out of here. I got my own stuff to accomplish here. We got our own battles to fight on our own soil. 
All right. We finally have a little bit of money. The dry baby pickup is okay. I can live with it at the very least. And the greed fight. Maybe this will give us the steam sale for free. If not, well, we have counterfeit pennies, so, you know, a little bit more money doesn't hurt. Doesn't necessarily help, but it doesn't really hurt either. Tears down hurts a lot. Man, how can there be a run like this that is just so consistently not great? I'll try the habit. Uh, a luck upgrade may actually end up making a meaningful difference. Two of hearts. Well, I'm not very excited to be fighting Teratoma. But at the same time, we're actually like, the one thing we lack is damage. Or sorry, the one thing we lack is speed. Our damage is actually, I wouldn't say great, but it's like appropriate for this level of the game. We can probably make it work. I don't know. At least we finally have bombs as well. Just give me like some statistical upgrade so we can make this work. Oh my god, a tears upgrade is so good, but also at this point, does it make me an asshole? I really, really want speed. Bombs are key. Ah, that's not really the kind of bombs I've been asking for, but we gotta do what we gotta do, I suppose. Make our way through here. Dry baby helping out a lot, actually. I think that this might end up being one of the more interesting runs we've had recently. It might be a run that we're actually, I mean, okay, we should. It might be a run that we're actually able to make work based on the fact that it, uh, or even though it doesn't have any speed. I apologize, I'm probably missing so many consumables. I know that there's those keys in that golden chest back there. Uh, I'm probably missing so many consumables by not using the, that I could have gotten with the boomerang, I guess I should say. Very, very dumb. But it's hard to uh, remember. It's an item that I, I don't think I've used in like months. Every time I see the boomerang show up, I just go, ah, I don't need it. It's a bad item. I've, I've ridden it into bad item territory. And, you know, that's, that's Lion's Law right there. Thank you for the spirit heart. That helps out so much. Just with like the confidence that I, excuse me, I actually created an enemy shield here. Gives you the confidence that, uh, you know, we can get this deal with the devil here. We can at least get a chance at it. We don't have much control over whether or not it actually happens. That's up to RNG Jesus. And he has not been uh, extraordinarily kind today, would, would be how I would phrase it right now. I appreciate all the help that, uh, that we've been given. At the same time, you know, thanks for the Mercedes, but I'm starving to death here. You know, I'm, uh, I'm so slow that it's hard for me to get over it. I don't, I don't know what compelled me to just take damage against Monstro 2 there. The other way that we could pull out a win here, like another strategy that we could use as like our primary method for dealing damage, would be like if we just got a single attack fly that wasn't gated by our own damage. Like if we replace Sworn Protector, best bud, with, um, with an actual like regular vanilla attack fly, then we f oh no 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 then we freeze an enemy with boomerang and just hit the shit out of him with attack fly and it's all over like we could really really do a lot of damage that way for now though it's uh it's not working out can't take it yet can't take it can't wow wow good pills i'm not that salty about the krampus fight to be 100% honest with you thank you dry baby it had to happen at some point. Oh my god. And a um, a lump of coal wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. The one time... The one time I want speed upgrades, they don't make speed upgrades. Every other time we'll get a hundred speed upgrades. Fan-fucking-tastic. Play along with this seed at home. That's not a request. That's actually an order. I want to see some victorious streaming, or vi vi not vi streaming specifically, but the most victorious stream that I have is after I wake up in the morning. But I want to see some freaking victorious winning here on this seed. I know it can be done. Hell, I might even be able to do it. But, uh, this is one of the seeds that has given me the most, but it feels like it's given me the least in like my whole life. Another two of hearts? What happened to our other two of hearts card? Did I just like completely get rid of it? 
We've been to both of our secret rooms, which is nice. This is a situation where we have like the exact proper permutation of items to not get fucked on this room. If we didn't have Juicy Sack and like two abilities to freeze, I would basically be... I'd be scared. Let's just put it that way. I'm not gonna get the, um... Oh, this is Dry Baby's time to shine, man. I'm not going to, uh... Get the Spirit Heart yet, because I think I need it for the next floor. Thank you, Dry Baby. This might also be an amazing opportunity for us. The Magician. Not super excited about that. Blackheart. Very excited for that. Didn't mean to pick it up right now and almost already lost it. We don't have Petrified Poop, so I'm not sweating the uh, Card Against Humanity thing. I'm going to use two bombs to get over here. And you're going to say, why don't you just use the Boomerang? Well, it's because I want to get the Golden Chest as well. Maybe an ability to fly would help. Alright, we could also get Mysterious Paper. Ooh, how spooky. Mysterious Paper. I'm so excited by Mysterious Paper. I can't even make it inside of that uh, mob trap room. To be honest with you, I don't think I want to make it inside of that mob trap room. We could use two of hearts, or we could just get another heart back later. I don't want to deal with that shit right now, though. I thought that it was actually my little haunt. Which, I'll admit, is ridiculous, because I don't have a little haunt. But I, I guess I just wanted to believe, temporarily. How many bad luck runs do we need to have in a row before Northern Lion luck becomes synonymous with uh, bad luck instead of great luck? Like, I'm not trying to complain necessarily, but this is a little ridiculous, the the amount of shitty runs we've kind of had recently. And this one has given me less than I think I've ever seen on my own runs before. I'm not surprised to still be alive, because we have had some good luck, and our damage is actually pretty solid, but... Uh, Man, it rarely do you get a run that's like, here's just a host of items that are very slightly above average uh, to create something that is slightly above average, but slightly above average is actually really bad in these you know existing contexts. I think we take a speed down pill on the off chance we get PhD on our next floor. Maybe. It's a theoretical possibility. Now, if you could just stay back, please. I would appreciate that. We will drop this here and hope for some spirit hearts. That's all right. Okay, Transcendence is a start. I would love to be like, oh, thank you, Transcendence, you've saved us. But really, what Transcendence does is it, it you know, pla it, it gives us the HP upgrade for one. It means that I'm going to stop skipping consumables that, you know, I could only get with the boomerang previously because I can just fly to them now, which is something I'm a little bit more familiar with. And it covers up, like, it, it gets some patchwork over our, um, over our speed downgrade. Since our mobility is much greater as a result of our ability to fly, it doesn't matter quite as much that we're slow, but we're still very, very slow. And it still matters, just not quite to the same degree. Alright, very dumb of me. Maybe the freezings are different, because it really does seem like, uh... Like we're able to freeze some enemies twice in a row. Or maybe the freeze from, uh... Ooh, that could be good. Maybe the freeze from, uh... The boomerang is long enough that it makes it... So that we can get another freeze, like the, the cooldown on the invul invulnerability wears off or something like that? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe I'm talking out of my ass. I gotta find something good here, you know, like... <laughs> I gotta find something to keep my motivation going here. Pretty soon we start taking double damage and that's where I, uh... That's where this stops being, oh, this run's a little unique because it's so difficult and starts being like, oh, yo, this run's like fucking annoying and impossible. Like, if you looked at this run... If you replaced, like, our spacebar item with any other spacebar item, I think you would still be like, this is not good. HP sucks, which is incredible, because we've only traded two HP away over the entirety of the run, and we've been playing some Blood Banks. Like, that's a little surprising to me, how bad our HP actually is. And then on top of that, thank you, Dry Baby, our damage is not where it would need to be to compensate for this HP, although it's not necessarily bad. We have the ability to fly, which is good. We have some okay familiars. But man, we're uh, we're definitely up against it here. This could become a, a two-loss streak, which 
I... <laughs> that, that would not be good for my confidence. Let's just put it that way. All right, get Polycephalus frozen here. Kind of bait it into jumping or bait it into showing up. We got very lucky with that kill there. Dry Baby, I didn't realize, could still do damage when it was under the... Uh, under the ground. I hate bonies. Like, they're already annoying, but with low speed, it's so much worse. That one almost got me anyway. Chemical peel for a damage upgrade. It's not what I want, but at some point... Oh, I didn't even realize there was a Tinted Rock here. You could give me enough damage upgrades that we could win this run. Preferably in conjunction with something stupid like Brimstone, Mom's Knife. Then we could start to, you know, really think about this one becoming a win, but... Man. I am... It, it's not the game being a dick. I don't like to personify the game like that, you know? But the RNG is... All the dice rolls are going not my way. Or they're going like, you know, we need a three to survive one more floor, but a six would make us powerful, and they just keep giving us threes. Eventually, we're going to roll a, a two, and then we're going to lose. I almost went to go fight the boss, which I don't think I want to do just yet. We still have our shop remaining, and even if it's greed, we want to give it a try. I, uh... Can probably be okay with it. And we actually can access this. Also amazed, been to the curse rooms, but no guppy items. No deal with the devil items at all. That's a little less abnormal. Oh my god, it's a speed upgrade. I was going to say, it would be so good if there was like a red heart there and I accidentally took it. But yeah, we have to. There's no question. We have to take speedball here. I'm still slow. Like, you know, don't think that this has nullified all of our problems here. But we're, we're fast enough now that I can actually dodge some enemies. And that's a remarkable turn of events for us that I'm very excited by. I appreciate that a great deal. Now we don't have to say, hey, every boss, can you give us a speed upgrade, please? I still might appreciate it, but we don't need it as much as we needed it before. Especially with the ability to fly. You know, it's, it's a big help for us. Okay. Is it too little too late? We're about to find out, I think. This would be like a, a really important floor. Yeah, there's no way I'm getting out of that with, with still pretty low speed. Um, can we, uh, if we get a deal with the devil on this floor, this is what's probably going to determine a lot of our chances for success. AAA battery, I think, is basically meaningless for us in this situation. You know, our damage is actually enough that we might be able to finagle a win here now that I look at it. No PhD, unfortunately. Money equals power. Like, a, we don't we don't need this. A Horror Babylon pickup that allows us to get to low HP. Maybe, maybe there's a win in here for us somehow. I, I don't see it clearly. You know, even when I'm like, well, this is a tricky run. Usually I'm thinking, like, at least two-thirds chance of success. In, uh, in this run right here, I'm like, I don't know. This might be, like, 25% or lower. We're about to find out how good of a chance we really stand, though. The mom fight will be a good indicator for us. I'm assuming I'm going to take damage at some point, and in a weird way, I'm almost looking forward to it, because I think my most reliable way to deal damage is is actually, um, yeah, there we go, is actually freezing enemies and then hitting them with Sworn Protector. It's, it's the worst thing to have to rely on, but it's really getting the job done, man. The only thing is, we don't really have enough HP to, to use that as our principal mode of attack, because we're just going to die. But we did get a deal with the Devil. We got the Polaroid, of course. And we got Demon Baby, and I feel like we have to, man. Like, anything that gives us extra damage, we have to take. Unless it's, like, a, a an active item. And I didn't even have to try to... Oh, my God. No deal with the Devil on this floor. Could it get much worse? Can it get much shittier? Not really. Seriously, though. Um, we're in a very tough spot. The next items we are guaranteed are on the chest. I gotta live that long. I don't necessarily consider that crazy likely. Right, we can fly. But we gotta give it a shot. You know, we gotta do everything in our power. We gotta look for... I'll take this. I don't think Eve's Mascara is doing too much for us. I gotta look for... Uh, I gotta look for Tinted Rocks, like, religiously. Tinted Rocks are my new lord and savior. I've gotta crack open golden chests. 
I probably got to go to curse rooms even though it's risky, but at the same time, I got to keep my HP high because uh, we don't have very much of it. Like, I, I can't really afford to take stupid damage because there's just not enough to go around. We do have blue map. I, I could probably use that to see a little bit better, uh, you know, where we maybe should be going. Not sure, though. Pop up, please. Thank you. You didn't get frozen. I'm not sure if we just one-shot that guy, but if so, that's that's pretty good. Second secret room is down here. That doesn't always indicate where the boss is, but there are times where it indicates ooh, where the boss is, and that's uh, that's meaningful. We'll take our bombs. If this is where the boss is, we are getting one more item. I don't know, man. How do we... Like, the easiest shortcut here, the one that allows us to do as little work as possible... Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> is, like, a double fallen room, then mom's heart fight. But I doubt it'll happen. We've been doing pretty well on this floor thus far, though. Hematemesis is... Uh, it's only really good if we get Dark Bum, which is, like, almost a literal impossibility. I do not see a Tinted Rock. I do not see a purpose in that, really. This room is uh, usually pretty good for finding Tinted Rocks. Remember, I can't just hang out necessarily like 100%... Oh, there we go. 100% uh, over the rocks because we don't have uh, Spectral Tears. Oh, the womb has been too kind to us here. I appreciate it. You know what? Maybe I will be happy with this run. Even if we lose, I think there's a certain arc of redemption on this run. We've played pretty well. We're in a much better position than we have any right to be. And I've taken very little stupid damage, uh, recently at least. Oh, I forgot. Well, okay, that was the, just the perfectly prophesized amount and timing of st stupid damage there. Um, I would take HP here. Absolutely no question. There is another Tinted Rock on this room as well. Another Eternal Heart? Yeah, man. Absolutely. Speed was good enough to get away there. Not uh, easily, but good enough. And there's our boss fight. It's a single boss fight. I don't think we can fight single famine here. Just don't give me conquest. Like, that would be the ultimate piss off is to fight conquest when I already have the ability to fly passively and desperately need every stat except shot speed. Please. All right, it's conquest. But conquest does have a tinted rock. Maybe a golden chest containing... I don't know. Tammy's head? <laughs> we are performing pretty well, and that's, uh... That's just our damage, man. We've gotten very lucky that, you know, if, if all of our attributes were as bad as our speed was for so long, it'd be a real problem, but, you know, our, our, uh, our damage is actually really, really good. Wow, and by really, really good, I mean relative to our other stats. It's slightly above average. We already have small rocks, so I guess I want spirit hearts or a golden chest. And, you know, that's, that's a net gain for us there. I'm starting to think that we actually live till the chest on this run. And that would be pretty remarkable for me. Because I didn't think that was going to be possible. There were some times when I thought we wouldn't live past the caves. This is going to set the tone. It would be really nice to get through this fight uh, taking as little damage as is possible. That's always the case, but particularly in this situation, it would be nice. Okay, now that we've taken a hit, it would be nice to get in there and uh, do some uh, attack fly damage. we got to wait for the freeze to be available again, though. Ah, uh, didn't freeze her. That's all right. That's all right. We made it only, only got hit once there. That's not that bad, man. Maybe, just maybe, this is the least impressive functional run of all time. Oh, don't give me curses at this point, too. Like, come on, just be a little kinder. Have some freaking sympathy for your for your opponent here, game. You're, you're just coming over the top here with these ridiculous... Uh, Penalties for me that I want no part in. Maybe another freeze there would have been nice, but that's okay. Yeah, keep him on the oh, keep him on the juicy track from Juicy Sack. I don't like this big room, but we do have the bombs necessary. If oh well, 
I still don't really want to fight it, but there's another big room coming up, so I think I'll fight this one. Because the the only room I really, really, like, super fucking hate, and it makes me want to, you know, break the game in half as if it was a physical copy, which it's obviously not. But let's just ignore that for the purposes of this discussion. Um, is the, the super envy room, and maybe the death room I wouldn't necessarily love, but the, the super envy in, like, 12 envies room. I would rather stay away from that one if we can avoid it. This is perfect. That that poor Wrath there was just caught between a rock and a hard place pretty much exclusively as a result of his big brother. Come on. Come on. You're like one hit away. I should go back for that bomb because we don't know how many times we're going to need to bomb our way through shit here. Definitely not worth it. Um... Yeah, I mean, okay, here's the deal. I'll, I'll fight him because now all the bonies are going to be dead. I'm not fighting him out of a sense of honor. I actually just think it's like strategically probably a decent choice. That came out of nowhere. Freaking scythes, man. Oh my god, get out of here. I don't want to deal with your horse hockey anymore. Okay, so the zombie's still alive, that's okay. Like, the zombie horse, I should say. But there we go, it's dead. I think that, that room is worth fighting. Maybe. Let's see what we got down here. Pills that are very unlikely to be useful. Ah, luck up. Okay, I, I can't be cynical about a luck up. It's looking increasingly likely like we're gonna make it to the chest. And that's, that's just bullshit, basically. I don't know, if this run ends up being a win, and I'm not trying to be cocky at all, if it ends up being a win, this will be like the worst run that has ever made it into a win on my channel, I think. Maybe, like it's not... I hesitate to say that because I'm always like, the most important stat is damage, and we've got it. However, that's all we got. And it's not really even that much. I'm not taking the, I guess I might as well take the speed down pill. There is a chance we get PhD or Virgo on the... I go into that room already? No. There's a chance we get PhD or Virgo on the chest. It happens fairly regularly. I'm not saying it's likely, but it does happen, you know, more than zero times. We don't have an, even have that many... Like, we don't have a good spacebar item, really. Traditionally speaking, at least. We don't really have a good, uh, you know, utility items here. Dry Baby may be accepted. But, uh, you know, Lump of Coal, Mark, Cat of Ninetales are just holding it together, I guess. I am gonna, I'm gonna try. We're only gonna get hit once anyway. I, I think it's worth one Spirit Heart to try this. We don't need that. Without Guppy's Paw, we don't need that. It's extremely unlikely that we're gonna end up, you know, running out of HP. Uh, and by HP, I don't mean HP. That's still well within the realm of possibility. It's extremely unlikely that we end up running out of, um... Oh. Uh, keys. We have 19. Probably with our luck, you'd expect maybe like 5 or 6 to show up on the chest with the 4 in the first room included in that. Anything more than that, I'd be happy to have it. Probably have a chance to get more keys. Oh, no. On the, uh, on the, uh, chest, of course. So this is, uh, us eating shit a little bit. It's okay. As, as I mentioned all the time... Pretty much the most slash only important thing is that we actually manage to make it to the chest. That gives us all of the, you know, all of the potential that we need to succeed. I don't expect the Isaac fight to be easy. Freezing will help. Um, and we'll get a real chance to see how, how good our damage actually is in reality, I guess. Good stuff. Okay, let's do it, man. I mean, I, I honestly can't believe we've made it this far, but... Good slow. I, I guess I might as well fire the boomerang as much as possible. I gotta get a little closer than that. That's that's funny. Alright, well, we know for the future, at least. There we go. We gotta freeze there. I might as well still do that. Oh, we missed again. Alright, it's a little trickier. Oh, you know what? This is the perfect time to actually abuse the dry baby strat of just putting dry baby in front of all the bullets. Yeah, this is uh, this is a good one. We can still get shot from behind a little bit, but Dry Baby's gonna help us out a ton. We still got hit. Like I said, I knew it would be possible. Thank you, Dry Baby. Okay. 
Oh, almost put myself in a bad spot there. That did not get the freeze done. I was so excited to do some sweet ass uh, attack fly damage, but that's okay. There we go. Attack fly had a very s small chance to get some damage done there. I'm scared because I don't know how much HP we have left. But I would like for it to be a lot. If that's possible, that would be great. Thank you, Dry Baby, again. Very slowly actually making this work. And there's the freeze again. You know, Demon Baby, I've been talking a lot about Dry Baby and Attack Fly, but Demon Baby, you're doing work too, and I appreciate that, and I like you. And, you know, you're you're being very responsible and helpful here, and that you're a great addition to the team. As we make it down to the chest on a run where I feel like we have no business making it down to the chest. Some HP, Dead Sea Scrolls, Monster Man Well, really. Really. There's going to be people who want me to use um, Dead Sea Scrolls. It could be Book of Revelations, that you're not wrong. Um, however, it could be uh, Kamikaze as well. I'm, I think we lose, and I'm not trying to be defeatist. I'm the first person who will tell you the value of a positive attitude. Um, but I, I do think that if I was a third party and I was looking at this run, I would probably give the game the advantage. And that's really unfortunate, because I, I was waiting for that, you know, redemption, where we have a shit run, but then the game uh, gives us some awesome items on the chest, and then life's good, you know? But that's not the situation we're dealing with. Instead, we're dealing with a situation where we had pretty shit items, and then we get to the chest and the game gave us shit items. But how awesome would it be if we won? That's the real question here. So I think... I, I'm, I'm gonna use bombs on like every room where I can. Because like if I can just not take a little bit more damage, that'd be great. We should save enough to get to the secret room in case there's like a key beggar or something. Uh, that would help as well. That's just... It's, it's pretty terrible. Why well, are you complaining, NL? At least you got to 99 cents. <laughs> oh, that's true. Why did I take speed down, man? I should have taken... I should have taken hematomesis. I really doubt that it, it's going to end up making a difference. Please, no. Yeah, my speed is still not good enough to reliably deal with those guys without a little bit of better play on my part. Where'd my boomerang go? But every room that we live is a chance to pick up an item that wins the game for us. Juicy sack. Juicy sack. The sack attack. Not super happy that Dry Baby, like, went off there, but whatever. No, you're not supposed to. Ah, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to be frozen. Don't kill me. Not you. You've done it too many times. Oh, it's a secret room again. Wait, there's HP back there? Oh, I wasn't able to pick it up anyway, right? Because I was at full HP before. We lived? Single penny. How amazing. Uh, I don't know who you kill last here. Who would you kill last here? I guess I'm going to go for Gluttony. Just because there's a chance that HP might be valuable for us. Whereas the money clearly won't be. The bombs could be, but it's a little bit less valuable like overall than just getting another HP upgrade or, you know, finding some HP on the ground. Uh, I really wish that that had not healed us the full way. <laughs> Homing Boomerang tried to do some good work there. Uh, I hate this. Like, I'm a, I'm a huge hater of what's going on right here. I have one bomb. I don't even know if it's worth using one bomb in this situation, because I think I'll find myself uh, probably just getting hurt trying to place the bomb. So I think as far as like the cost of that goes, that's probably prohibitive. I never harbored any uh, illusions about us getting through this boss fight without getting hit. And by boss fight, I just mean room. But sometimes this room is harder than the blue baby fight. Uh, but if I could get through the fight, you know, only getting hit once, I would treat that as an enormous... Uh, boost for us. Oh, it's a perfect time for a Skype message. It's not like I have like a incredibly difficult rebirth run going on right now or anything like that. They can't know that. That's not their fault. Oh, and we replaced our speed down pill with a lockdown. Okay, this one 
is all about that sloth. The sloth card has has won many runs in Rebirth that it was not supposed to, you know, like they shouldn't have been won. Let's try to make that just one more. Just one more, Sloth. Just keep the streak going. You got it, baby. Oh, make sure you kill the Silkworms. I don't think it matters, actually, now that I think about it. Bob's rotten head! Oh, but Proptosis! Okay. It gives us... <laughs> gives us a chance. Oh, no! We're gonna die right after getting it. It's too little too late. Proptosis at its maximum range is still a 30% damage boost. As huge. So I'm not gonna sweat getting up close and personal with enemies when it makes it much more likely that I'm gonna die. And, uh, you know, we do have Lump of Coal as well, so... There is a little bit of a, a benefit to being far away. But Proptosis is, is one of the best items in the game. Gotta be in the top 10. It's fantastic. The only question is whether it's come just a little bit too late as a result of, you know, my lack of HP. Come on, just like a single half red heart would change so much right now. It would give me hope. Oh, don't make me do this though. I'm slow. I'm slow! We're still alive somehow. Like when they start doing the gravity bomb on me, I, I can't get away. <laughs> oh, jeez. Thank you for jumping. Did we kill one? No, okay. We must have killed one. Gotta get the other one. Gotta keep moving at all times though, because you don't know what this motherfucker's up to. He's got all sorts of shenanigans up his sleeve. Come on, you're, you're kind of like gluttony. Just drop some HP for once in your life. Oh! Oh, God! It's so risky! What? I didn't even go to the second... Okay, not going to the second secret room may actually kill me. I'm so pissed at myself, but at the same time, I am pleased with that run. Let's just assume that it... Oh, uh, no, there's a lot of means that that would have saved us. Fuck. That's life, man. One, one mistake ruins it all at the end. God dang it. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it nonetheless. To play so solidly and then theoretically throw at the end. Let's just assume that it was fucking Demon's Tale in there or something. That'll make me feel better. But I still do. I feel good about my performance. Just terrible, terrible about that final mistake at the end. But thanks for watching. Got a little wrapped up in myself. If you enjoyed it, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.